The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Sheriff Joe, how you doing? Hey, great talking to you again. I miss you. You miss guy? You don't miss me. Come on. Of course I do. I, of course. Really? You're I'm, a good station. I'm, I'm very, very touched. Listen, um, <laughs> you are suing the president. Why? Well, you know, basically, uh, I'm really concerned about all the uh, inmates that have been leaving the jail, 4,000 of them. We research, and 36% uh, uh, keep coming back, put these criminals back on the street. And that's now. Obama's fault? Of course it is. He sets the policy. He's the one that's kicking them loose. I'm not. He is. <clears throat> Who's he kicking loose? Those beep 36% of the people that are in the jail that we turn over to the government, they keep coming back over and over 25 times. How can they keep coming back when they should have been deported? Are they let out the back door? Which well, the numbers show that this president has deported more than any other president. He has actually kept more people from coming into the country than any other president. He has a very good deportation record. And I thought Go you ahead. were... Go ahead. You mean they're not coming in? They've been coming in thousands and thousands and hundreds. They're coming in at a much in? lower rate. In fact, no, they're not. We've never had such a flood of it. By the way, the reason uh, uh, you say he deports more, you want to know why? Because when they catch him at the border and kick him back across, you know, arrest and release right away, he's taking credit as a deportation when other presidents never took credit for dumping guys back right away across the border. So you can play the games all you want with stats. I thought you were suing him because of executive, his, his executive action. Is that not why? Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting into that. That's my uh, lawyer. He's the expert on constitutional law. I'm just giving one of the reasons that I'm concerned about his new uh, executive order, and that's but, releasing criminals back on the streets. But that's not what he's doing, the executive order. The executive order is not releasing criminals. In fact, he was very clear in his speech last week that if you are a criminal, you will be deported. That's not part of his executive order. That's not what he said. He will only deport felons. Felons, not family. And the felons have to be national security or vicious crimes. That's what he said. So everybody else get a, gets a free pass. Well, and as a matter of fact, it's also temporary, as opposed to what Reagan and Bush did, which was permanent amnesty for a whole class of undocumented immigrants. Well, he's doing it for three years, and saying to Congress, please send me a bill, legislate it. You don't like it, change it. And he's urging the legislature to even change it if they want to. Well, I'm not going to get into where the Congress already passed the laws and he just was uh, doing executive orders to follow through. But why do we keep talking about what other presidents uh, Because have Because you know Is why? what we do? But you know They're why? I'll, I'll tell you why. Because I think there's a separate standard. It's a double standard against this president. Why weren't the same people upset? when Ronald Reagan did something which is far more extensive than what this president's doing. Well, if I recall, they were upset after the repercussions when he did it. So just because some other president does something... That it but means then now there's talk of impeachment, there's talk of uh, uh, shutting down the government, we're not going to... you got a Congress right. saying we're not going to work with them on anything, you have, you're suing them? Reagan wasn't sued. Everybody sues me. I think I have a right to fight back and sue. That's the only alternative I have. You're not complaining about the Department of Justice 100 days after Obama took office to go after me, and they still are. So I guess if I can get sued, I can sue. Well, they went after you because they claimed that you racially profiled, which is against the law. Well, I'm, I'm claiming that this uh, president is letting these guys out, and he's violating the law by going uh, not going through the Congress. So everybody sues, and uh, it's not costing me anything. The lawyer is doing it for nothing, so that's okay. So you're doing it simply because it costs you nothing, and, and uh, you know, it helps keep your no, profile. No, I don't want to pay. I, uh, no, I'm not going to pay. Uh, where am I going to get the money? Have the taxpayers pay? This is great because the uh, taxpayers don't have to pay. They're getting it for nothing. But, you know, aren't you taking up the time of the taxpayers? You're taking up resources? You know that suing the president's not going to result what in a successful... What resources? What resources? Me? Well, uh, you know, your time, the lawyer's time. Uh, the, the, the president's got to respond if there's a lawsuit. That takes up taxpayer resources? Whoa. Geez, I wish everybody would have had that philosophy when they sue me when I go to the toilet. That's great. Let's twist it around. You've been sued why for going to the toilet, like, Joe? That's what well, they say. No, <laughs> you know, I'm being a little, but, you know, I get lawsuits all the time. Nobody seems to care about that. Uh, you, were, you, you were sued for, what, racial profiling? That's what the alleged accusation racial was. Prof alleged. It is still in progress. Uh, alleged racial alleged. profiling. That's so that six years. Six years of millions of dollars they have cost to go after me. Six years. 
So why right. don't you go after them, Department of Justice, for wasting their money? Well, why do you think it's taken six years? Because they probably have nothing. That's why. Come on. Why? Why are? What is your response to the charges? That we don't racial profile. Let's see if we ever get to court. We'll see. That's been the Arizona situation. Republic says it obtained records where the from the FBI that agents reported finding probable cause to recommend felony charges for obstructing criminal investigations, theft by threat, tampering with witnesses, perjury and extortion. That's what the Arizona Republic reported. Against my organization. It didn't say me. Let's get that straight. But I run the organization. Why didn't they file charges? I'm a high-profile guy. You think if they could, they would not? You picked that thing out of one sentence. Come on, Alan. Well, no, I'm you telling you I'm telling it. you what the Arizona Republic reported. Well, okay, that's the Republic. Right. So what? Let's, let's go to the facts and so on. So uh, if they had the charges, uh, the evidence, they would have uh, charged. Come on. Let me ask you Look about what they did to Rick Perry. They, they charged him over some situation in Texas, so they're not yeah. embarrassed let, let to me, charge people. Let me ask you about uh, your pursuit of the, uh, the president's uh, birth certificate. Is that still going on? Of course. Uh, yes, now, it is going. I'm surprised you even had the guts to ask. Uh, the guts nobody to ask else you, right? wants to talk about Why not? Nobody else wants to talk. Uh, ask ask well, the media. Well, I, I'm, I mean, you were on Rusty Humphrey's show, uh, and apparently you made some news by saying uh, the administration was incompetent, that its current dumping of illegals in Arizona is intentional. And then you went to a segment there where you uh, said that he's clo you're close to discovering who forged the birth certificate. Do you have any information on that? No, you can be close, but you know what? I want the facts. I don't go by being close. Why is it but taking I, I, so long? Well, because it's very difficult. I'm not in a rush. I want to make sure I do it right, but I will address the forged and fraud document. I said from the beginning it's a forgery. How do you know that? I, I think I have some experts uh, that uh, prove it, okay? And, if, and you talk about going after people with probable cause. If we have the smoke, why isn't anybody at least looking at it? Where's because it's been looked at. Here? The president's released two birth certificates. I no, mean, it's a hasn't. small, you no. know. Uh, he has never released his birth certificate, never. From day one, I said, give me a photocopy and I'll go away. Has never. So there's much misleading information. So the president got on. there, lied, purposely gave a, what he knew to be a phony document when he released his birth yes. certificate? Yep. I don't know if he knew about it. I never. I don't even care where he came from. It has nothing to do with where he was born. I'm talking about a fraudulent document, period. seems like people like yourself, and maybe you don't like the word birther. I know that's been applied to those who have this belief that he hasn't been honest about where he was born, uh, you, you know, will not accept anything that the president hands out. He's released first a long-form, then a short-form birth certificate. Or rather, the other way around, short form than long form, form it's and not it's, it's not Come satisfied on, no. anybody. Who's... That is not the original birth certificate, okay? That isn't the birth certificate. But how do you prove but... that? Yeah, isn't it uh, 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 upon I, you to prove it? I think you, uh, well, you can approve forged documents. That's a, a good step forward. Well, so far it's not been proven when they're forged. Well, let's get the court. Let's get someone to look at it. That's well, all I'm But asking. you're claiming they're forged without proof. Well, you know, I'm a law enforcement agency. What, what do you mean without proof? When you have probable cause, that's when you move What's ahead. the probable cause that his birth certificates have not been real? I think we have good expert uh, witnesses. I'm not going to get into more details right now. Yeah, Mike that. Zullo is your chief investigator, right? Mike yeah, Zullo? He does it for nothing. That's now, right. what are his credentials to investigate the president's birth certificate? Well, what is any deputy's uh, credential? He's got law enforcement experience. What do you want him to have a master's degree? We, I'm, I'm just, just asking an innocent question. I'm just curious to know just, what. Just another investigator that knows how to investigate crimes. Right. You need experts to come down. It's a fraudulent document like you investigate any fraudulent document. Well, you, document. you keep making a claim. Now, if you are doing a fair and open investigation without a predetermined end to the investigation, you would not be saying it's fraudulent. Isn't your goal to find out what the truth is without a predetermined conclusion? Well, I didn't conclude. Uh, I'm saying what our evidence showed, the probable cause, okay? It's up to the courts to make the final decision on any crime. You keep saying fraudulent, like you've decided it's fraudulent. As far as the evidence, uh, I'm concerned that it's fraudulent. Can you share That's, any of the evidence with has us? to be proven. The what? Can you share any of the evidence with us? No, but I, uh, because of you bringing it up again and uh, people want an answer, I presume uh, when the right time comes, I'll have to go and 
let the public know what we have. I'm well, not going to hide. What are you waiting for? I'm not going pre- to be premature because we're not done. What yet. else do you need to be able to make that assertion and share your evidence with the rest of the public? I'm not going to get into that right now as a pending investigation. Ongoing, let's put it that way. Do you have a time frame within which you will come forward and tell us what you know? The time frame is only when we are comfortable uh, addressing any new information. Are you, are you sure that you're going to have that information at some point? I uh, hope so. But you're not sure. I, I'm not using politics. I guess if I was using politics, I would have come out with this sooner. But I want to make sure that we have the right uh, information and I just do this, like some people say, for politics. So I'm in no rush. I want to get to the bottom of it. All right. He's only president for less than two or two more years. you got two years to do it, right? Well, he's still in office. Uh, doesn't matter. What's that got to do with it? A fraudulent <laughs> document is a fraudulent right. document. Well, who cares uh, how long you're in office or not? That doesn't matter. All right, Sheriff Joe. Thank you very much for talking to us tonight. I appreciate your time. Keep in touch. Thank you, sir. Uh, Chef Joe Arpaio. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.